Roanoke Children's Theater is gearing up for their 10th anniversary and they're kicking off the season with a fun, silly and spooky musical called Goosebumps. Here to tell us more are our art artistic director, Pat Wilhelms, along with two of the actors of the show. We have Taylor Cobb and Caitlin McAvoy. Welcome Yay. all of you to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you so much. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, congratulations, 10 years. I know it. That it's hard flew to by, huh? Yeah, I'm yeah. so excited. Yeah, yeah, so you have a big season ahead, right? We have a fun lineup this year. Yeah. I think everyone will like classic show, Charlotte's Web. Mm -hmm. We have the best Christmas pageant ever, which is so funny and family friendly. And then we have Goosebumps. Which is coming up next Friday, next weekend, right? Next weekend, the yeah. whole weekend, yeah. Okay, yeah, tell us a little bit about the show. It's so much fun. It's really like Stephen King meets Scooby-Doo. So <laughs> it's a lot of yeah. funny, cheesy, fun times, but then there's just this little bit of thrill to it, too. Okay. And it's a musical, and the music is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so something... And haunting. And haunting. Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys are in the show. Tell yes. me a little yes. bit about your characters and what it's all about. Well, I am play Miss Walker, and I am the eccentric, kooky drama teacher who feels so determined to put on the show because my great-grandmother <laughs> put it on, and it didn't work out, and so she's going to make it happen this year. Okay. All right. <laughs> and, and your character? My character's name is Emil. He is the uh, sort of mysterious night janitor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he lives in the basement. Oh, he does. that is creepy. All right. Yes, okay, he's, so. a, he's ever so creepy. And yeah. he eats Cheerios. Yes, now and again he does eat cereal. Sounds like my husband, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> in the basement, he eats cereal. <laughs> Seriously. It's funny. Yeah, so the story, it, it, uh, it takes place in a middle school. Okay. And uh, it, the, the, the play that the kids are putting on in Goosebumps uh, is called The Phantom of the Auditorium. And there's a rumor that there is an actual phantom and that the script is haunted. So the story is sort of the kids figuring out, you know, if there's any... Uh, reality to the mystery there. This it's sounds like it's so fun. much fun. It's oh, a yeah. lot like uh, a takeoff or a spoof on Phantom of the Opera as well. Sure, yeah. Um, but it, it's just fun because it's so funny and then all of a sudden a little like, whoa. Right. Yeah. And, and so it's great for like ages eight and up. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you probably wouldn't bring a kindergartner, but a second or a third grader on up can handle it because Perfect. of the music, because of the funny spots. <laughs> right, exactly. You, know? you want them to get the jokes. Yeah, yes. right. exactly. Yes. Okay, so when can we see it? So it's September 22nd through the 24th at the Jefferson Center, our beautiful home, and you can get tickets by going to our website. Okay, and let's talk a little bit about the, the rest of the season, because you mentioned it very briefly, but there's yeah. some really great shows coming up. It's so great, too. It's the best Christmas pageant ever, our mm -hmm. holiday show. I mean, it's just so funny, and such it appeals to such a wide variety. Our shows are always based on books. We really believe in the power of reading uh, yes. for success. We love, we love families that can come together and enjoy an evening at the theater mm -hmm. and then talk about it, compare it to the book. Mm -hmm. There's lots of conversation to be had. Yeah. Charlotte's Web, it's a classic. It's so beautiful. That is for absolutely everybody. And then, you know, we do an issue-based play. This is on social media and distracted driving. So and everyone needs yeah. to see that. Yes. Okay, so we can get all of the information on your website, Theater.org.